Hey, um, I was digging, cleaning a little bit, and I figured I'd get out these awesome plushes that I have that you probably haven't ever seen. How about some Famicom controller plushes? <laughs> these were 2004 Band Presto. It just says Nintendo Family Computer. Hopefully you can see that. It's very small. Um, but, you know, just a, a little loop here. And some nice little printed on detail. And then the D-pad and the buttons are actually plush, which is very funny. And then select and start kind of just have their own place in the plush, but it's just... Um, printed on along with all the other details and there's even a controller too with the mic and the speaker yeah no select and start all the right details there's the tag very cool okay but those aren't even the actual coolest plushes that I was talking about um, I actually had these before I had the system and yeah I've got a disk system that, that actually works and a Famicom um, these bust all the time it's the little belt that typically goes but well and I haven't put mine in in uh, plug mine in in a long time I typically use my sharp twin but um, all the details are here this is all well, this is very shiny sleek slick plastic kind of wrap looks like a fondant cake um, all the details are there where you put your little disc if you're familiar with the disc system um, Nintendo HVC 022 and it has all the all the warnings and everything on there it even has the battery lid and the little feet and on the back it has the connector ports and these tags came bagged and I'm not, I'm not sure why um, there you go these are like the first items that I ever purchased of Famicom disk system stuff there was a couple of uh, keychains and stuff I went back to get once I realized it was um, part of the history because at first when I saw them I'm like what's that uh, this was you know before a lot of people knew what it was in America and then I'm like oh well I should probably get that <laughs> so I waited and bided my time and got a fantastic deal on one um, actually shortly after buying these plushes so I've had it for a long time uh, but here's this plush oh my gosh um, so here's all the detail of the eject button it doesn't actually move but it's it's there and it's actually you know got some plush to it uh, everything else all the details are just printed on but there's the power button and the reset button and the family computer logo and where you put the, the cartridge and the fan and all the computer hookups in the back and the cords are actually much longer um, it just is wrapped with this piece and I would never cared to take it off because it's a nice little hang piece I actually hang it from this little loop right here it's got double loops but possibly the coolest part of this is yeah velcro Velcro, Velcro controllers and they have this nice little divot that they fit into just like in the console itself so both of these come off so funny so much fun and then the, the bottom even has detail you know they, they don't have to do that kind of stuff but um, I like it when they do channel 1 and 2 RF switch AC adapter TV game yeah, because you could use the RF switch. Same, uh, same tag. And it's funny because I just got another one. Let me grab this one for you. I just got this Sega Genesis. It has all the detail too. And you can actually plug in the controller I had this on the YouTube channel on a short but I'll, I figured I'd do this too and there's also a Sonic the Hedgehog cartridge that's 
lost to the plush pile here. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. No, it's lost. Lost to the ages. It'll come back. Let me just check real quick. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, you, I found the cartridge, and it's got it's got good de detail. It's kind of hard to see there, and it's got the Sonic the Hedgehog, but it has all the avoid exposing cartridge to extreme temperature, blah blah stuff that the actual cartridge would have. And it's really hard to get in there. I'm gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna kind of do the edge here. No. See if I can stuff it in. It just kind of sits in there like that. High definition graphics. I love plush consoles. Why is there not like a plush Game Boy or a plush Super Nintendo? This needs to happen. Plush NES with a flip top. Like why? Why not? Um, I'd buy all the Super Nintendo plush. You know what? Maybe I should do that myself. Nintendo console plushes. Uh, anyway, that's some some fun plushes for today. Thanks for watching. Well, would you count this? This is from a Culture Fly box. Just a little controller. Less detail, maybe. Well, I mean, it's got the back details, so screw holes and stuff. Just printed on. Never took it out of its little bag. It came in one of the... Um, Culture Fly like subscription box types kind of around the holidays. It was like an NES box or a Nintendo box. But there you go. So there's a start. And there's lots of NES boxes that look like, you know, like promo boxes and stuff that look like an NES. But I want a Super Nintendo plush. I want a GameCube plush. N64 plush. I want all the plushes. Thanks for watching again.